today, boys, we're going to be working on patterns and we're going to be finding some patterns in our book and trying to work out what the pattern is. So we have four um, examples of patterns here. OK, so if you look at this um, first row here in our pattern, we have yellow square, purple triangle, and then we have a blue hexagon okay in our next one we have purple next row we have a purple circle a yellow square and an orange semicircle in the next row we have a green oval a red rectangle and a yellow square our next row is a yellow square a purple triangle and a blue hexagon then we have in our next row a purple circle a yellow square and a red semicircle so <clears throat> what we're going to do now is look back over what we have here and see is there any at any time does this start to repeat so we have our yellow square we have our purple triangle and then we have our blue hexagon. Now let's have a look down. Can we see if that is anywhere else down here? Oh, we have a yellow square here. We have a purple triangle and we do have a blue hexagon. Okay, so in this pattern here, so this is row one of our pattern. Row two of our pattern should be a purple circle a yellow square and an orange semicircle. Let's see, is it the same down here? We have a purple circle. There we go. A yellow square. There you go. And a an orange semicircle. There you go. So our pattern is repeating. So our next line that we need to fill in here, the next row, will be a green oval, a red rectangle, and a yellow uh, square. So that goes in there. No, and the pattern continues for another row. So for each of these, try and identify. So go down through each row, identify what the pattern is, and then see where it begins to repeat. And then you fill in the next line. So here you have three three rows to fill in. Here you have two, and here you have three. Okay, so the next pattern is a pattern of that we see in the world around us. Okay, so here we have the pattern of a butterfly's life cycle. Okay, so it goes from an egg, we have a caterpillar forming a pupa, and then our butterfly. Now, it's not that the same butterfly will go through this over and over again but the pattern starts with an egg then it develops into a caterpillar goes into a pupa and then develops into a butterfly and this butterfly will go and lay an egg that egg will grow to be a caterpillar that caterpillar will form a pupa and then that pupa will develop into a butterfly. So that's how the cycle continues, and that's what we call it a cycle. It's a pattern that goes over and over again. Now, if you would like some more, no, and again, look, you've stepped off here, you have your egg, you have a caterpillar, you have a pupa, butterfly, okay, and an egg, and how does this pattern continue? Keep going around the life cycle. Now, if you want some more information about the life cycle of a butterfly, there's a PowerPoint on Google Classroom for you to look through. And just like the butterfly, the frog also has a life cycle. So the frog's life cycle will start off as an egg, or frog spawn is what we call it, then tadpole here. Okay, and then we have tadpole with legs, and then we have frog. Okay, so. <clears throat> Fill in here the missing parts of the pattern. So go around the life cycle and fill in what's missing. Here we have frog is the first 
is is or the egg is the first one here. Then we have tadpole. We have our tadpole with legs. We have our frog. And what comes next? Okay. So fill in what's missing here. No, there's <clears throat> more information on the life cycle of a frog on Google Classroom in a PowerPoint. Okay, so if you'd like to look that up, feel free to do so. Now, enjoy um, discovering these patterns and working on them.